Hi everyone, Martinez here from the Travian Legends team. Welcome to Ask Travian, where we answer the most asked questions from the community. This is a very exciting episode because we managed to convince two members of our XAP team, James and Ricardo, to join me in front of the camera. Not an easy task, let me tell you. If you follow our blog, you may know them already. We featured them in an interview a while ago. We will leave the link below anyway, don't worry. But let's give you a bit of background if you are completely new to the subject. XAP stands for Experience Assurance Professional. The team has a variety of tasks to make sure the game runs smoothly, but these guys in particular take care of testing the game. And they don't do it by sitting at their desk playing Travian Legends all day, in case you were wondering. They use something called automated testing. But before we jump into the subject, don't forget to activate the subtitle in the option, subscribe to the channel and then click on the notification bell so that you will never miss a video again. Now it's time to hear directly from them. Enjoy! First of all, what is automated testing? So we use automated testing as a way of covering as much as the game as we can using special test software. We run the tests and then we compare the results. Exactly. That way we can see if everything is fine, if we need to report bugs and then run to the developers to fix them. What are the benefits of using automated testing in testing a game like Travian Legends? On Travian Legends, we use automated tests to cover the game the best we can. Yeah, so we use them to approve certain builds of the game, which we hopefully can be released live. Before it would take up to a week before we had the tests. And right now we can take half a day to approve everything. Mm -hmm. And the more cases we have, the more coverage we have with the game. Exactly. What was the most challenging feature that has been tested lately? The most challenging feature that we had to test uh, lately was the entire annual special for 2019. Um, as you know, we have a few new features and all of them need to be covered by automated tests. Yeah, the hardest part is writing those new tests and we have to also maintain the old ones, which is difficult considering all of the new changes. What was the nastiest bug that has been spotted thanks to automated testing? It's hard to say the nastiest bug we found. Yeah, um, I remember one where we recently could not attack other players' villages. Or, for example, fatal errors, where you couldn't open uh, Dorf 1 or Dorf 2, for example. Yeah, and automated tests, uh, they do have their limitations, but we're working on improving them all the time. And that's a wrap. As usual, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. In our next episode, we will talk about the auction house. Unfortunately, no guests this time. Thank you for watching and make sure you stay tuned on our Facebook page, blog and forum for all your Travian news. As always, happy raiding everyone!